Good morning, everyone. Ann Martin Fry here, founder and CEO of Homeless to Independence, Inc. And we have some employment for you folks. But first, I want to say good morning, hello, and welcome to all of our new subs. We are up to 160 on YouTube alone. And then, of course, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Alignable, Yelp, Gab, BitChute, and Patreon. So we have subscribers all over the place and more to come. I'm still trying to get to work on the OBS to get live done. I just have so much going on. I was on the phone with our police chief yesterday trying to see if we could open by appointment. And, and he said, no, at this point, we still cannot open. So be impatient. I mean, you know, that's the worst he could say was no. So, um, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. Uh, so, okay, anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, New Jersey employment, okay? Here we go. We have Smash Burger. Ooh, let me get comfy. We have Smash Burger in Edison, New Jersey, that is looking for a restaurant general manager. Aquin in Mount Laurel needs a correspondent operations specialist. Senlar in Ewing, New Jersey needs a temporary associate with regards to LMS data support. Senlar again, oops, sorry, in Ewing, New Jersey needs an operations business analyst too. I opened the window. I think it's um, allergies. I really do. Okay, Senlar and Ewing needs an operations business analyst one. Pannoni in Haddon Heights, New Jersey needs a staff utilities engineer. Aquin in Mount Laurel has a, a remote position with a DE underwriter. And again, it is stated that is, it is a remote position. Senlar in Ewing, New Jersey needs an operations specialist one. Then Senlor again has two more positions for Ewing. They need an executive resolution analyst and they need a borrower experience quality analyst. Now Senlor in Pennington, New Jersey, they need a senior auditor with assurance and validations. Sun Communities in Claire, down in South Jersey in Claremont, New Jersey needs a resort maintenance technician. The GEO Group in Newark, New Jersey needs a part-time family services intern. The GEO Group in Newark, again, they have another position. They need an assistant to classification. And Senlor in Ewing needs a borrow experience supervisor. And that's what we have for New Jersey for today. Uh, at least it's um, it's not like two weeks worth, and I just verified every single one of them. That's why I'm running a little bit late this morning. And then I have some super important phone calls I need to make with the state and such. So <sighs> all of these positions can be found on Homeless to Independence's New Jersey Employment page. That link is also below. Now, anybody that's looking for an online nationwide on, online career fair with the companies and you can chat with the hiring execs. Uh, we have you covered. Homeless to Independence has them updated uh, through the end of this week on our recent updates page. And then of course anybody with a speckled past, anybody that has a felony and or misdemeanor conviction, and anybody that uh, works in that industry, such as parole officers, probation officers, halfway houses, halfback houses, shelters, recovery houses, SROs, a sing single room occupancy, um, social workers in uh, soup kitchens, clothing closets, food pantries. Did I forget anybody? Oh, job clubs. Any anybody in those in those industries that helps folks or are thinking about helping folks with those con with convictions, please reach out to me. Email me. I don't broadcast those jobs out. Um, I send them via email uh, through our constant contact service, and we do pay for that service. But we don't we don't charge anybody for the information helping you get on uh with lives so 
uh, email me at ann at homeless to independence.org in the subject line please put the word speckled and then in the body of the email just put the name of your um uh your uh state commonwealth or territory and we'll get you going okay and all of that is also down below i don't think all the listings are going to fit though but they are, as I stated, on Homeless to Independence's New Jersey Employments page. So, Homeless to Independence, we're a 501c3 all-volunteer nonprofit. We do not receive any grant funding. Our fundraising is done at venues such as flea markets and farmers markets, venues of that type, with items that are donated specifically uh, for us to sell to raise funds to pay for our operations and such and all those venues are shut down at this point and they have been now for over two months due to the COVID-19. Now since we're all volunteer we also do not qualify to even apply, I had to find the right word, apply for the PPP loan through the SBA. We don't qualify because we are all volunteer. We really need help we have drastically fallen behind on our overhead bills and um, we really need help. Uh, you can look on our, we have a vetted charity. We are a vetted charity with eBay and we do have a store with items for sale. 100% of your per, of the purchase price is donated to Homeless to Independence and it is reflected on each and every um each and every listing that we do have. The money then goes into our vetted charity PayPal account. We are a member of the PayPal Giving Fund. And on top of that, then it comes to our um, PNC uh, Banking uh, 501c3 nonprofit operations account. And the bills are paid to the best of my ability at this point. So if you can help us out in that way, that would be awesome. <clears throat> we truly appreciate everything. Uh, we're also on Patreon for as low as $3 a month. That's only $36 a year. You can support Homeless to Independence also. Uh, through PayPal also, you can set up a monthly um, donation that will just come right out of your account once a month. Anything, anything will help. $5, $10, $20, $20 $25 a month would be greatly appreciated. So um, please help us out. Please support us because we're here supporting everybody else. And we need help. Um, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for supporting Homeless to Independence and the people we serve.